Small incision cataract surgery is a common cataract surgical technique. It is useful for high volume cataract surgery. Unfortunately, around 2 out of 100 patients had complications, which means they are left blind after the cataract surgery. Improper tunnel size in relation to the nuclear size is often the reason for poor surgical outcome of small incision cataract surgery. In this video we would like to discuss some of the ways to avoid such complications. You can find the links to other videos on similar topics in the description of this video. You can also find the links to the instruments used in these steps in the description of the video. During SICS, different techniques are used to remove the nucleus. Hydro expression with or with using an anterior chamber maintainer. Hydro expression plus extraction using an irrigating vectus or Simco cannula. Simco cannula are available in different gauges, which can be used in different situations. Abstraction alone using a fish hook needle. Problems with these different SICS techniques are mainly related to the size of the tunnel and the proximity of the nucleus to the corneal endothelium. Difficulties with nucleus delivery are mostly due to the inner tunnel opening being too small. This should be checked before nucleus removal with the visco cannula. However, the surgeon should avoid cutting into the anterior chamber's angle while enlarging the inner tunnel opening. Later carries an increased risk of hyphema. While lifting the nucleus into the anterior chamber special care is required in patients with pseudoexfoliation and in older patients with weak zonulates. While delivering the nucleus through the tunnel, accidental contact between the nucleus and the corneal endothelium must be avoided. Otherwise, postoperative corneal edema or corneal decompensation may occur. In order to avoid such corneal problems, you must inject sufficient viscoelastic between the lens and the cornea to protect the endothelium. Instruments for nucleus removal, such as the irrigating vectus, Simco cannula, or fish hook, should be kept away from the cornea. These instruments should not push the nucleus against the cornea during nucleus delivery. These instruments should be pushed posteriorly to open the incision. It will facilitate easier nucleus delivery. In addition, gently pulling the bridal suture makes nucleus delivery easier. Hope you find the video useful. Please let us know in comments, the factors you think also affect nucleus delivery. Please let us know the other topics on which you would like to see similar videos. Check the description below for a link to other useful videos and instruments mentioned in the video.